Um, and a lot of life is like uh, catching people's attention and holding it. Attention is one of the most valuable currencies in the world, your attention. Because there's a lot of things you could be paying attention to. And the art is helping people to pay attention to what you're saying, right? rather than pay something attention. else. The same thing, paying. Paying attention. That's exactly right. They use the word paying. Like, <laughs> so that's very, very clever right there. I, I think that you're the currency is, is based, the, 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 the original currency is based on attention. Mm -hmm. The only reason that the currency is valuable because of the attention that is catching. That's correct, yeah. Yep, yep. And you get paid for things which are worthy of people's attention and time. People don't get paid for things that don't help people or interest people or something like this, right? That's, that's, that's a very good point. Like, yeah, if you're a lawyer, well, you get paid money, but really it's because you have a lot of attention. People want your services for different things, you know, or if you're a doctor, well, it's because people want your attention, right? And you get paid for giving them your attention, <laughs> you know, and like in your, in your, in your uh, skill and these things that they want. It's they're focusing on you, they're giving you their attention, right? So that's a, that is a good way to think of it. Attention, getting, how to get people's attention, that's a good, you know, or, or what gets people's attention? These, these are things to ask yourself. A very foundational Yeah, it is like, like, the, like a currency, you, you have to get a lot of people to to uh, to think of the, to give value to this currency to believe that this currency is valuable and then the, the it raises the price of the currency the value of the currency same thing if a lot of people if you get inside the mind of a lot of people and they know you and they want to hear what you what you're saying what your opinion is what you like, what you love to use, what you love to buy. So you're becoming a currency, yourself becoming a currency. And everything you're creating, you're putting on, uh, uploading on the website, on the web, is a digital currency, is a re digital real estate. And it works for you at night when you sleep. They are watching it and they want to see what you say then. If you put on a shirt with uh, some uh, tag of, I don't know, Nike or something new, they'll pay you because it's a, that, that's a, it's a sign that this is valuable if you're wearing it. That's right. That's right. And uh, I mean, advertisements, a lot of it's just paying for people's attention. <laughs> so, yeah. All they want yeah. to do is catching people's attention. If you are able to catch people's attention, you're uh, valuable to them. Catch it and then keep it. Yeah, and that's that's the thing about uh, Mr. Beast does very well. And you know, as you're talking about his interview with Lex Friedman, he talks a lot about that. And that's a valuable, very, very, very valuable skill to have. And that's what that's basically how YouTube works as well. And basically any social media platform, it's the one. The the videos are rewarded that catch attention and then keep attention throughout the, the whole duration of the video basically like this is yeah they're all saying it's, it's so so uh, smart from uh, to, to you as uh, they talk about it also mr beast and also i heard uh, today uh, alex romoli uh, talking about, about this thing of, of repeating repeating it's not the, the, it's not only the it's a new thing that I'm thinking about. It's the importance of of every day of a, a consistency, right? Yep. There is the, yep. the, the consistency importance, but there is also the repeatable repeating. There is nothing you can't learn by repeating. Mm -hmm. If you repeat something over and over and over, it's always getting better. As long as you do it well. Oh, you have to you have to learn yeah you learn even, from mistakes even you you, pivot. you don't do it well if you take a, a, a saxophone and you're trying you you know nothing and you're trying to blow into the to the mouthpiece sure. and, sure. try, and it's it's not it's not working but if you do it ten times still not working I get that 
my comparison then is you, like, do, you do it 100 times 200 yeah. 300 it must be better it as must get better yeah. as long as that's the thing as long as you're focusing as long as you're paying attention to the correct thing right yeah, because it you have to pay sense. attention of course when, when you use that's 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 huge so when you use a saxophone like you could choose to try to eat it like you could try to like cut in half and like and chew it but that's not you know you could you could use it like that but that's not maybe how you should right you know so it's like in one sense you do have to pay attention to the right things like you could try to make music with it by just like chewing on on the little top of it instead of blowing air into it you know or you can <laughs> you know it's like, yeah of course of course as an example so like that's just an example of when you learn a new skill it's like in one sense yes it does take a lot of time uh but then also there's this idea like where you have to also be aware of the right things which will lead to your goal and if you yeah. practice that a lot then open of course you know. but first yeah. of all the mindset that we can learn everything by repeating sure that's the thing. That's yeah, first yeah. of all yeah there's no excuses if you if you if we don't know something and the problem is that I'm it's boring to repeat it over and over. The problem is that I'm not doing it. I I'm starting to play and uh, I'm starting telling myself, no no, I'm not talented enough. It's hard. I won't be able. Yeah. So I'm 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 leaving it. So I will never know that if I would only repeat it hundred times more, then it will be, uh, I'll be, I'll be better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you're right. Then if you're doing it, the more right, the most model you're working, the, 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 the progress is, is quicker. That's yeah. Also, I think to develop, yeah, so to develop the skill, how, how to learn, how yeah, to work. Some system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what systems are for. Exactly. That's why systems can be very helpful to, to make sure you're doing everything correctly. But talk, talking about, you know, you're talking about distraction and these things, and like when you do it, it can be boring. And uh, I remember somebody defines like the distraction in more positive terms. Like basically all it means is that like, that something else is just more interesting to you. And maybe what you're doing is not, not important enough to you or interesting enough to you, all right? And so so, this, so they, kind of, they kind of define this as, well, what about if you just, tried to make what you're doing like more meaningful and more interesting and more catching of your attention you know yeah, so they, that's a, a, a little bit soft soft yeah because if we will want to get a, a big progress if if we are little child and soft person soft, soft we, we, we will achieve uh, accordingly but if we want to achieve big things, we have to we have to know that it's going to be a sacrifice. Sure, yeah. And all this, uh, as they say, it's sacrificing the uh, immediate grat gratification. Yeah, immediate grat yeah yeah sure immediate gratification. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, immediate yes. gratification for long term gratification. Yes, yes, and I, I, I want to, I want to continue on that, uh, on that metaphor of sacrifice. I think this, I think this is why the Tanakh says that every, everyone who sacrifices, this is like a, a paraphrase, not direct quote, but basically it has the idea that everybody who sacrifices should, should do, should do so with a grateful heart. And I think the wisdom behind that is there's a big difference between someone who's sacrificing and they're just like they're, they're doing it, but it feels terrible. You know, like, and like, they're just not happy to do it. Like, it's just like, oh, it feels like so, so much work. And the person who's able to sacrifice, but do so in a way that's like, it seems like play to them, or it seems like meaningful to them, or it seems like, you know, it's somehow joyful to them. Like, so basically, like someone who's working like at a job, they can be doing a really big work, a big service to humanity. But if they really love their job, as, as the saying goes, uh, time goes by quickly when you're having fun. So... I think I don't know. Basically, yeah, it's not possible to make everything you do in life maybe like that. But the more the more you're able to, I think it, the more it works with your natural way of thinking. Because like a lot of times we try to say like, well, okay, you just have to try to like discipline yourself to get past that feeling of of like not wanting to do it. 
which is one way to do it, which is one way to think about it. But the other way is like, why don't you just work? Why don't you just work with your natural kind of human psychology and try to do, make this something that will will work with you instead of like you feel like you have to work against you when you do it. Does that make sense? Yeah, that, that's uh, of course. It's, it will be very very foolish to 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 choose between everything you 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 can choose. It's to, to it's very foolish to to choose the the least thing you're good at. But that that's part of it too. That's part of it too. It's it's it's, uh, it's better to to. It's obvious that you're going to to. to if you choose the things you're better at, it will be easier, and you naturally you like it more, mm -hmm. and your progress will be much quicker. But but even though there is something else, if if it's something you don't like so much to do, mm -hmm. not, it's not natural for you, sure. but. I, I understand the value of achieving it. If I, I don't like money. Yeah. I, not, money is nothing. It's tasteless. It's, it's nothing. But I know what money can give me. If, money, if I have money, I'll, I'll be able to do a lot of things that I love to do. So I now I have to do things to get money. But it's boring. It's very hard, and it's hard to sit and make all the you know the, the calculations and, and and to work. So and there you go. Emotions. Well, but but not, yeah, now you're talking about yeah. So now, right? So and the way it's that sacrifice. you said that, yeah, it's correct, correct. But the, and now the way that you're doing it though is somehow you're make you're you're becoming a like the, like the Tanakh says like you're becoming a more you're trying to become more of a cheerful sacrificer rather than just like a pessimistic or just like, oh, I hate this kind of a sacrificer. And that's the, that's the big difference. That's why it's like uh, also in the, the, what was it, Paul, one of the early Jewish Christian guys, he said that uh, God, loves, God loves, a cheerful, loves a cheerful giver, right? And in one sense, it's like when you sacrifice cheerfully, there's something different about how you experience the sacrifice in your life than if you give in a way that's not cheerful. And, and how do you make how do you make your sacrifice cheerf, cheerful? Well, that's the question. That's a question. I think part of it has to do with seeing the meaning behind it. Part of it has to do with just working with human psychology and, and in, integrating things. What do you mean cheerful? Cheerful. cheerful. You know you know what the word that word means? Full of cheer, like gladly. You, you do it gladly, and somehow it's meaningful to you, and, and not necessarily like. I understand what you say. If you're if you're sacrificing something for for God or for something someone you love, do it cheerful. It's it's nicer. It's better. It's more honorable. It's you will do it better. But I think if you're speaking about if you're talking about doing something in order to achieve some something you 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 decided you're going to achieve. Mm -hmm. So relying of of enjoying it is 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 a, bit, a little bit danger dangerous because that's that's uh, working a little bit of uh, with feelings. I don't feel like doing it. I feel like doing it, and that's a problem because I feel like eating all day chocolate. Sure, sure huh? Yeah, but I I suffer. When I don't eat chocolate, and I see chocolate, and I don't eat it, it's suffering. But uh -huh. I'm doing very something very good for myself. Yeah, but there's a reason why you do it. So that's that's what I'm talking about. So the, the reason that you don't eat chocolate all day is because the satisfaction that you get from not, not doing it is maybe not more intense, but but deeper than the satisfaction if you were to eat chocolate all day. So there's, you're still kind of getting rewarded in some sense. Like you're sacrificing, but you are doing so cheerfully. Yeah, but the because... reward is not not immediate reward. No, no, it's not. No, it's not, I'm not saying it has to be. Yeah, I'm not saying it has to be. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of times. So when you, times, the, the minute you are doing yeah. it, you're suffering. It's not cheerful. Well, when, when, yeah, when we sure. accept that, I get, I get, I get. when we uh -huh. accept that, everything is is easier. Mm -hmm. I am doing my my cold shower. It's horrible. 
Yeah, sure, I get it. By the way, it's no, getting it's getting easier, but but it's I I I know it's 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 not a good feeling when I when the cold water is is uh, falling on me. It's not cheerful. It will mm-hmm. never be cheerful. I think maybe maybe in the summer. Yeah, cheerful. this is this is the. I think it's a sacrifice because yeah. I'm getting in the long term. I'm getting rewarded very very highly. Yes, yes. Okay, so I understand what you're saying. So you're saying that maybe you don't like the feeling or the idea of doing something in the beginning, but for the long term, you you do find yeah, satisfaction. You, you choose something like I, 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 I'm, I'm singing. Singing for me is the, the, the one thing that I love most. Yes. I love to sing. I can sing all day long if, if we have the, <laughs> the right setting. But... I have to train every day my voice for an hour. Yeah. Okay, and, now do you... And, and the training is sometimes also interesting, but there's minutes that the training is so boring and very hard because I'm always trying to develop the voice. And so it means that I have to try harder, I have to try things that I am not good at. And, and now I know that I, that I have to repeat it. It's boring, it's painful, not cheerful at all, but I know that I and I will do it anyway and uh, and then I will tomorrow I'll see the the, the, the progress and if, if you, you, sometimes you there's a you regression. Volunt- it's it's voluntarily so it's voluntary suffering though, right? You you go into that to be sacrifice. voluntarily. What sacrifice it's voluntarily so Voluntary sacrifice, yeah. I, I was thinking about because I thinking about this. I was thinking about a quote from uh, Albert Camus, which um, he was a philosopher, French, actually Albanian philosopher, uh, and he talks about the myth of Sisyphus. He has a he has a, kind of like a, a book about the myth of you know the myth of Sisyphus, of course, yeah. you know the Greek, yeah, where you know Sisyphus is like rolling a giant stone up <laughs> the hill for like eternity, and then it goes down. And uh, at the towards the end of Albert Camus book he says we must imagine sisyphus happy and then you and then the reader has to think about well why why do we have to think of this guy who's rolling a stone up a hill and then watching it drop down for eternity is happy and i guess part of why i think is because sisyphus has accepted his like he's he knows that he has gone there for a reason and he's voluntarily accepting it so once it's like we have to imagine him happy like he's happy even when he's going through the suffering because he's he's like he's he's somehow extending his agency and his will to do it, even if it means that he suffers. And I think it's that kind of what I'm getting at, where it's like there is the part where I agree with you as well, like where at, at the end you feel a lot of suffering. Like maybe maybe the suffering comes to an end for for you. Like we don't have to come, be continually suffering like Sisyphus or something. But then, but it's like, yes. like it's, but it's, not, it's also, very short. You're right. I I always try to find the easier way. So I, I want to suffer for an hour. I will suffer for a That's minute, true. for five minutes, ten minutes, and always I know always that is the the progress is there. I don't see it right, right in this moment, but I see it tomorrow. I see it a week after. So I'm not uh, that. Uh, how do you say in English? Kadosh I'm not uh, that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're not necessarily like super um, hardcore like on your. Yourself, like you're not necessarily trying to find the hard way purposely, right? right. I'm not here to suffer. I'm yeah, suffering yeah. Uh, uh, just for yeah. a minute in order to gain a lot, a lot of joy. Uh huh. When I'm developing okay, a I like skill, that. it's yeah. so powerful, it's so satisfying. I like, I like that. And actually, I do have to go like a minute here, but I'd like to really continue tomorrow because I have another, another talk here right now. But I like this conversation. And I guess, so I, 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 I've kind of understood what you're saying now and i guess the perspective that i am trying to come at it would be the question of but is it also possible while you're suffering to find happiness in that as well and that's the that's the yeah. question we should to think about yeah. <laughs> so, so we'll it's about... job to remember the question and bring it up okay, okay yeah i need to write that down let me write it actually yeah. maybe you can write it down in the chat in the uh, group like next okay. the next level like, you can just yeah. say can you imagine yourself happy while suffering <laughs> like like Sisyphus there we go I, I like this conversation this is really good 
Great. We're getting we're getting good places, man. We're getting this is this is a pretty wow. enlightening and helpful conversation Lovely. about how to view suffering and and the results and you know, suffering versus, you know, is it just after suffering we find happiness or can we find it during it too? So I like that. Okay, then tomorrow, man, I gotta I gotta Great. run because I've See you tomorrow, same time. Same time, that's right. Eight, eight time, 8 p.m. All right, 8 p.m. Israeli time, 7 yeah. p.m. Central Eastern. All right. Great. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank See you, you very much. Thank you so much. See ya.